Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Inkis and I'm from IJS Electronics and today we are checking out Lens, that guy there, SM Vector. This particular drive is an IP65 rated drive, so if you are looking for a drive that is going to be outside in dusty places or humid or whatever protection, a higher, lot of higher protection you require, this drive is just for you. So, uh, so yeah, as I mentioned, this is IP65 drive, and as usual, we're going to be doing a three-part video. First one is commissioning and local run. Second one is a two-wire, three-wire control, and the third is going to be our a uh, typical a uh, MOP control and which is a uh, push button up and down control frequency and also a uh, multi frequency setup so yeah that's what we're going to be doing today so uh, so yeah if you're older or like the manuals older everything that I believe will benefit you in a possible way it's going to be in the description below and also all the related the videos and things like that so do check out the description for those details on that let's get started <laughs> Here we are, so all set up. So as usual, let's go through our cabling uh, connection points and things like that. So uh, as you can see in here, this, it is IP365 rated drive and uh, it's, it's usually cable, so it would go here through the bottoms in there, but I didn't, because it's a brand new drive and it's, it, it, it will be going up for sale. So uh, I will uh, not be drilling them, so I just kind of looped it through and uh, wired it like that. So this is where, you're, where, where my motor goes, this is UEW in here, so you actually can see the motor in here. And your mains is coming here for L1 and L2, or slash N L2 is your uh, neutral. And in here you can see these points in here, those are going to be for your earthing. And I didn't earth it for the time being, but because uh, it requires the push on bit. So uh, I didn't do that. So uh, so yeah, so this is where you'll be putting your earth on there. It's right in here. This is where your EPM, uh, standard for a uh, memory for a uh, for your lens drives as usual. And from there on you have a uh, IOs right in here in front of it. So the first one, first one is a digital input, which is our start stop. We're going to be using that for start and stopping. And from there on, two, five, and six is going to be our uh, these uh, two, five, and six is going to be your potentiometer, and here uh, for uh, zero to ten volts. And if you want to use a uh, analog input at uh, four, uh, four to twenty milliamp, you'll be using a twenty-five for it. So from there on, uh, for number four is a difference reference, uh, digital reference, uh, common, and eleven is going to be our supply for our digital inputs, which are uh, third, all the thirteens, A, B, C. Oh, this one doesn't have a D. So yeah, so uh, so we have a three a digital inputs, which is uh, just about what we are going to try to do. That should be just enough for us to achieve all the stations that we usually test. So uh, from there on, we have a fourteen, which is our uh, digital output. So uh, and a thirty is going to be our analog output. So uh, these two in here and 16 and 17 is going to be our relay output. So that this drive, this particular drive doesn't have the TXA and TXB, which, which normally would be a 4A5 a communication, uh, our uh, S4A5 co uh, communication. So uh, this uh, drive, it doesn't have it. So uh, I haven't said that. So next up is uh, we'll be checking out uh, the front keypad. And for the front keypad, let's power it up. And I'm not sure you can hear it. It is um, its own little internal fan. I don't really know where it is. Somewhere in there. So up and down, this is basically uh, to adjust in your parameters, if you will. M is to enter your parameters. R and F is more or less to go reverse, uh, forward and reverse. By uh, You can change that once you are in local mode. We're going to be testing that in a minute. And your start and stop self explanatory will be start and stopping your drive. And briefly, before we go into the parameters, to get into parameters, once you click the M, as you can see, we will ask you a, a pass. Uh, we'll pretty much say pass and jump to a four zeros. Just by default, it's 225. Other than that, if you don't have this password, uh, you will just show you the monitoring parameters. Oop, we will show 225. And uh, then click M again, and we jump to straight to, to, to P100 parameter. So that's how pretty much that's the password, how you can get in your uh, menu. And from there on, we are ready to set our drive up to ready to go. 
Before we're gonna jump on to a uh, full uh, commissioning of the drive, we're gonna do quickly a factory reset. Uh, reset depending where you are in the world, so it uh, you need to choose what sort of a um, uh, for the frequency you're using. Here in UK, we are at 50 hertz, so I'm gonna be uh, resetting my drive to default settings for 50 hertz. So uh, you can have a look at the manual, which parameters will be changed to what as well. So just pretty much quite a few parameters for it. So again, if you're in States or, or where else you use 60, uh, you'll be 60 and uh, I'm going to be resetting everything to 50. So my one will stand at 4. So there we go. So let's go to a 4 and then enter it. And here we go. And drive has now been defaulted and set up for 50 hertz. So now we are ready to start commissioning our drive. To commission this drive is actually really quite straightforward. So we're gonna jump quite far, uh, go through a few parameters, only a few parameters that you can need. Your start source and your uh, reference source by default, if it is from default, stands at a zero. So both of them are gonna be controlled from uh, front keypad. So that will be 100 and 101 respectively. From there on you have a minimum maximum uh, reference where is a uh, P102. So in our case, that's going to be zero, and then, then, then there's going to be 50 on a maximum. From there on, uh, 104 and 105, let's change that one. So 104 is going to be acceleration. Let's down that down to about one, as usual for my testing. Oh. And uh, that's just, uh, I don't know why it goes straight to the stop. So uh, and then it's going to be a deacceleration as well. And ooh, come on. There we go. So um, from there on is gonna be your a uh, the only thing after that you really need to go go straight to the 108. And this is where you set up your overload. And your overload uh, is basically your when the, when the motor uh, drive will uh, stop working when it exceeds the load uh, the current amount load current on actual motor. So to calculate it out, as usual, uh, Lens always works on percentages. So uh, you take the, uh, the drive uh, the drive uh, amps and divide them by the motor amps and time it by 100 and that give you a percentage. In my case, that works out as one amp divided by 2.4 equals 40. Uh, well, how many is it? What was that? What was that mathematically? Was that? Uh, 41%. So uh, that's what we're gonna be entering in here. So 41%. And that will be uh, my overload. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is really what you need to do. There's nothing else. There's obviously some uh, other fine tunes depending on very much on applications, but for the basic application, this is really all you need to do to get yourself going. So, and that's about it. And next up, let's check out how this drive runs. And before we get started with the testing, uh, two things I want to point out. As you can see, this button in here comes up as error. To fix that, uh, go to parameter 112, enter it, and raise that one to a um, uh, 1. And emit, so, and then, as you can see, it will start allow you to uh, run forward, run reverse. By default, it is forwards only. Another thing is, which actually let's uh, start up the drive. As you can see, it's already running, so you can change the frequency with this. Got up and down buttons in there. So, and uh, how sensitive that's going to be very well, much depends uh, how your uh, acceleration acceleration is working. As you can see, another one. And when you click the stop, it doesn't use the acceleration for it. So to fix that, just jump onto a parameter, go down to 111, uh, one, and uh, there in that parameter, you can have a selection of a, a coast, and then, a, and then a coast with DC brake, ramp, ramp with DC brake. So we're just going to change that to two because we don't have DC brake. So, uh, and uh, what we're going to do in here, we're going to change that to uh, two. So uh, I've done that. So uh, let's try it again. And as you can see, when we stop it, it used the acceleration for it. So those are the couple of things I wanted to point out. Obviously, there's quite a bit more you can do, but in the next upcoming videos, you're going to be checking out a little bit more into depth with all our remote stations. So it's definitely, definitely, if you're looking to use a remote station, definitely tune in for the upcoming videos. And that, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. Uh, this will do for this video. If you've got any questions, do ask them in the description below and I'll answer them as soon as accurate as I can. 
So if you liked the video, don't forget to smash that like, subscribe if you like and want to support us. And obviously, as long as you like what we're doing here. So on that, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.